for some real power, this boat's got the power that you want. Extra large cockpit, big tower, and a brand new boat with Cat C7s. Are you ready to show me more? Come on with me. The dinette in the 33 Rampage is plenty for six people to stay and enjoy an evening drink or dinner. They also convert the bunks into bunk beds. They quickly convert so your extra guests can spend the night. They're approximately 7 foot 7 long and they're extra wide so even a 250, 260 pound grown adult can sleep on them very comfortably. The dinant table will reduce down and this will actually fill into another long berth capable of sleeping easily 6 people. Now another fine feature of this boat is the salon sofa. And the salon sofa quickly converts into a twin bed. With a quick pull of the string you can convert it down into a twin bed so again another guest can spend the night on the boat. It's also extra ultra crest leather, which is a faux leather. It's extremely soft. The galley in the 33 Rampage, and this is a Tread Barda edition, so you'll find extra rod holders everywhere as we did. But it's a solid surface countertop with a dual glass burner stove and a microwave. Makes it convenient for cooking up those catches. You also have real solid wood. Again, there's no laminates in here. This is a real hardwood. And you have an oversized refrigerator freezer combo capable of keeping all of your sodas, soft drinks, and food for the day refrigerated. Moving over to the entertainment center, we have a flat screen TV, DVD player, and stereo, so you can catch those afternoon movies or take in your favorite stereo. I like country myself, but Jimmy Buffett and Bob Marley play great on there as well. The head compartment is an extra large head compartment, and again, at six foot one, you'll notice I have no problem coming in or out. I can stand up. It's all fiberglass line. There's nothing in here that you have to worry about getting wet. I mean, it is a boat, but you can pull the curtain closed, take a nice, comfortable shower. You actually have vanity room in the mirror, so if you want to store your shaving cream, aftershave, those sort of things, toiletries, you have plenty of room for that. It has a wastewater monitor to let you know how the holding tank's doing. And it also has push button flush controls. Very easy touch of the button to flush the head compartment. Nothing sophisticated here, just a nice large head compartment. Easy to move around for a bigger guy. And it makes an afternoon cleanup very easy when you're ready to shower and go out to dinner. The lower helm on this 33 Rampage gives you plenty of room to mount your favorite electronics. The Cat C7s that control the boat have their own monitoring system for each motor, both port and starboard, as well as a tilt steering wheel. No keys to lose on this boat. The only key you really need is the cabin key. The motors will start at the push of a button and stop at the push of a button. ZF has provided Rampage and CAT with some excellent fly-by-wire controls that make it effortless for maneuvering the boat. Some real nice feature on these is one simple touch of the button and you can move from this station to the upper station without having to worry about if the boat stays in gear or where you are in the controls. Maneuvering the boat's a breeze with these too as the response time is very minimal and it really reacts quickly. The other thing about the helm area is you have a lot of seating. You have comfortable port side seating for your passengers. You have a minor U-shaped seat here which you can comfortably accommodate six guests. There also is an ample amount of storage which you can double that as an ice chest if you'd like to put extra storage on here for sodas or, or ice. Starboard side seating also has an Isinglass too. If you notice, it's the thicker of the Isinglass. It goes around the whole area. And also up in the ceiling, you have handrails so everybody can hang on. Cool feature too on this boat, at night when you're running it, the lights turn red so you can run red LEDs and it doesn't put any glare on your vision when you're running. This is the bait thawing station or tackle station. You have an area in here to thaw your ballyhoo. You can rinse off your hands as you're prepping bait. And you also have tackle drawers down the center. I like to carry my own tackle drawers on and off the boat, depending on the application that we're using the boat for that day. You also have an area here to store your line or extra gear, uh, rigging gear that you might need for the afternoon. If you'll notice too on this particular model, as a Tread Barda edition, it's going to come with extra fuel capacity and it's also going to come with an ample amount of rod holders. In fact, there's more rod holders on this boat than most people even have rods for. But we counted around 25 if you look up through the pipe welders tower, up on the actual tower itself, and then down each gunwale of the boat has four. Very uncommon for a boat of this size. Most of the time they would have two, but you actually have four. The outriggers on the boat, when they're out, you can run a three-line spread rig on each outrigger, leaving the rods down here in the cockpit for the angler to quickly access. You also have an extra large fish box in the floor, and you have approximately a 60-gallon live well on the transom, 
and all the edges are rounded so your bait won't beat itself up on that long ride out. This is the frigid rigid cooler and one thing about the frigid rigid is it'll hold ice for an excessively long amount of time. You put your ice down in there, it's a great location to store those nice grouper or snapper uh, that you catch for the afternoon. And when you put it down with the seal that's on here, like I said, it will really cause a vacuum and it'll keep that ice in here for up to a week at a time. Just to give a quick overview, in this beautiful 33 foot express, you have cabin that can accommodate comfortably six adults. You have the C7 diesel engines, turbo diesels with the ZF fly-by-wire controls. You have a full upper station with outriggers and it's ready to be rigged as many options as you want for electronics. There are rod holders everywhere. You have spreader lights on the lower bridge itself. It's a fiberglass hardtop on the tower as well as on the lower tower and there's hand reels and arm rifts everywhere. It's ready to get out there quick and it has a Carolina flare like no other out fishing boat <laughs> has. Ready for you to battle those big waves and catch some big fish.